Hey guys, Ben from Ed's Game Time. Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy Duels. Last time we were still in the facility and we dueled against Mr. Armstrong. In a pretty tough duel. Our deck mostly consisted of just a mishmash of random inmates' cards, but in the end we managed to beat him. This time we're going to be doing the take back. So we're going to be probably dueling against Officer Trudge, it seems. So let's get started with that. So, shortly after defeating Armstrong, Yusei was released from the facility under Rex Goodwin's orders. But before he left, Bolt had one last gift for him. This card is going to help you get your dual runner back. So, I overheard the guards talking about your sweet ride and how it's locked up in the impound center. Take this card to a store named Bootleg. Order some milk and ask for Blister. He'll help you out. So, meanwhile, back at Sector Security. So this is Lazar, another new character. Are you sure about this? If you let him go, we we might never find him again. It's obvious to me that Yusei's Mark of the Dragon won't reappear while he's trapped inside the walls of the facility. It's time for a change of scenery. Besides, I never said that we were letting him go. You're going to track him. Oh, you are so sneaky. Hee 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 hee. With Yusei free to roam New Domino City, I have selected an elite task force to keep him under surveillance and watch for any signs of the reappearance of his mark. And if his mark shows up again, that proves he is one of the signers that I have been searching for. Alright, so that's a new thing right there, signers. So, with the help of Blister, Yusei was able to sneak into Sector Security Impound Lot Center in order to recover his dual runner. Unfortunately, Trudge was already waiting to spring a trap. I just hope this ID and passcode code work. Nice. Reunited at last with my dual runner. Ha ha ha. I'm starting to think you like me, you say. Why else would you constantly go out of your way to make sure we keep meeting up like this? Although I gotta say, this is probably your craziest stunt yet. What on earth were you thinking? I just want my dual ba runner back, Trudge. Actually, that runner is now the property of Sector Security. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Give yourself up right now, and I'll forget the fact that you broke into the vault when I'm filling out the report. No chance. You're not leaving me with any choice. If you won't surrender, I'll have to make you surrender with a duel. So yeah, it seems like we're running into him again. Uh, one thing I didn't really mention last time, or I guess the last two times, is yeah, uh, within Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, they both did dual runner duels, and they did just like on the ground regular duels, so yeah, that's what the prison duels uh, in the facility were. I'm going to go with scissors. Awesome. So yeah, those two duels in the facility, those were just like standing with regular dual discs like it was Yu-Gi-Oh! or Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, whereas sometimes they would do the dual runner duels, and so it's kind of like... I don't know, it kind of just shows how much of a gimmick it really was. The speed, like the dual runners and like the speed counters. I mean, the dual runners were cool, but like the whole speed counter concept that doesn't really even show up in uh, this, you know, it's kind of like a gimmick. Alright, so what do we have uh, synchronized? Do we have the same thing? Uh, no, we got Turbo Warrior, which is Turbo Synchron, plus one or more non tuner monsters when this card declares an attack on a level 6 or higher Synchro monster. Have the attack of the attack target until the end of the damage set. This card cannot be targeted mm, targeted by the effects of a level 6 or lower monster. Nice. And then we got this one again. Alright, cool. So we got Junk Synchron already. So. so when this card is normal summoned, you can target one level 2 or lower monster in your graveyard. It's supposed to summon that target in defense position, but its effects are negated. Which is kind of like the idea, is that you summon him, and then you can get your level 2 monster immediately. So defense draw. Activate only during damage calculation during your opponent's turn. The battle damage you would receive becomes zero. Draw one card. Excellent. So, Fighting Spirit. The equip monster gains 300 attack for each monster your opponent controls. If it would be destroyed by battle, you can destroy this card instead. Nice. Cobalt Hedgehog. We've already seen that one. Healing Wave Generator. Once per turn, you can select another face-up monster you, you control to gain life points equal to that monster's level times 100. Nice. We'll hold on to that. And then Speed Warrior. Once per battle phase, if this card was normal summoned this turn except the 
during the damage step, you can make its attack become double its original attack until the end phase. So, all right. So let's summon him, right? Yeah, let's summon him in attack mode. And then we'll... Can I activate? No, okay, whatever. So... Oh wait, yes, I want to activate the effect. Bam, and now attack. Okay, so he's uh, sent that to the graveyard and was able to summon another one from the deck. Interesting. Alright, so we'll end turn there. So, yeah. Let's see what he does next. He's got Pursuit Chaser. So, yeah, his whole thing is like kind of like themed around, I guess, cocked things. So, Defense Draw. We're just going to draw another card and send that to the graveyard. Luckily, I can Synchro Summon next turn, so that's nice. So, we've got two of these. So, let's Summon Junk Synchron. And then activate the effect to uh, get Speed Warrior back. And then we're going to be able to uh, Synchro Summon together our junk, junk Warrior, so that's pretty good. That's basically, um, Junk Warrior is kind of like, you say he's like signature card until like he gets Stardust Dragon back. And then we got an achievement tuned in, perform a Synchro Summon, nice, put him in attack mode. And then... Okay. So yeah, we'll um next we're gonna activate this. So we can get more attack points. So that's pretty good. And now we are gonna uh battle one of his monsters, and there we go, a lot of damage on his part. Everything's good, we got a pretty powerful monster. So there we go, that's the turn. So yeah, this is basic uh junk warrior is basically like the Dark Magician, or the, um, Neos for Yusei until he gets Stardust Dragon, uh, back, or whatever, so. Alright, so we got Ghost Gardener, we got Cobalt Hedgehogs, um, I could use this. Hmm. So, I'll hold on to that. I'll just put Ghost Gardener in defense mode for right now. Um, and then we're gonna just, uh, attack the uh, face down monster. That was another Stygian security. Alright, I could just look through his deck. So he's got like a Torah part, some more police things, more stuff, more stuff. Okay, he's got a Call of the Haunted in there. He's got emergency rations or emergency provisions. So and he's got Call of the Haunted a couple times. Alright, fair enough. And so we're gonna just enter in there. Although I could summon, I think, I could summon Cobalt Hedgehog next turn and just destroy the other one. If this card, oh, Synchro Summoning, alright. What does he got? Ooh, Stygian Sur Sergeants. And he's removing from play that to summon a Dark Tuner, and okay. And he's successfully destroyed Ghost Gardener. Okay, when a face-up monster, you control is selected for an attack. You can change this to the... Okay, when this card is destroyed and sent to the grave, it's one face-up monster your opponent controls loses a thousand until the end phase. Okay, that one. And got it back anyway, so, okay. So, what do we got? We got Turbo Synchron. So, when this card declares an attack, you ch can change the attack target to the defense position. And when you take battle damage with this card... In, when this card... Okay. Meh. Words. When you take battle damage while this card is attacking, you can special summon one monster from your hand with less than attack less than or equal to the battle damage you took. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Okay, how do I want to go about this then? Uh, I'm going to clearly destroy this with uh, Drunk Warrior. And as for Dark Tuner, I guess I'll just summon Cobalt Hedgehog now. Actually, no, wait, I have an idea. Cobalt Hedgehog in attack mode. And then we're going to activate Fighting Spirit again and put it on the Cobalt Hedgehog so that way it can destroy things. So first off, Cobalt Hedgehog, destroy this, and then 
bottom of the deck was selected. When this card you control is sent to the graveyard, look at the top card of your deck, return that card to either the bottom or the top. Alright. And then Junk Warrior, destroy that. There we go, clued the field. Pretty good. And we're going to turn there. He's going to play something in defense mode, nice. And another card face down. He's got the three th face down cards, but he hasn't been doing things with them. Alright, sweet, we got another speed warrior. So let's uh, summon him in attack mode. And we're going to enter the battle phase. Uh, activate the effect of speed warrior. And now, oop, I almost ended it accidentally, that would have been bad. Okay, attack this. Alright, I wasn't sure um, what was going to happen. Okay, your opponent cannot special summon them for the rest of this turn. Alright, fair enough. Junk Warrior attack directly, and Quibble Hedgehog attack. I didn't do Quibble Hedgehog first because I didn't know what it was face down, so I didn't want to waste an attack. So that's good. So there we go. This is going really smoothly, actually, all things considered. Another face down. I think I can easily just win this turn because it's got nothing. All right, what's this? Uh, tuning. Add one Synchro Tuner monster from your deck to your hand, then send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. Okay. That's interesting. Um, yeah, we'll activate that. And we'll get a... Um, we'll get a Junk Synchron. Why not? Although... Oh, man, we lost a scap Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Darn. Although, I mean... Yeah. I'll summon him anyway, just in... Just in case something happens, I guess. And yeah, we'll activate his effect and get uh, Speed Warrior back as well. So there we go, we got a full field of things. I could Synchro Summon, but I'm not going to, just in case. So yeah, first off, uh, Speed Warrior attack. Pinpoint Guard, when an opponent's monster declares an attack. Okay, Emergency Provisions. Okay, so all this is happening. Uh, I don't want to continue to attack with that one. However, I do want to attack with Junk Warrior instead. Okay, when this card you control is sent to the graveyard, look at this. Okay, why didn't that work? Hold on. Okay, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, target one level four lower monster in graveyard, special summon it, and it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, we're gonna just end turn then. Fair enough. So yeah, I knew some, I knew I just felt something was gonna happen though with the face downs. And I feel like he's gonna synchro summon. Yep. What did he get? He got another of those sergeants. Which is fine, because I have the top of the deck was selected. Okay. And that's fine with me, because I have um Yeah, I'm gonna use the effect of fighting spirit to just take damage and be okay. All right. So let's see what we can do now. Cause that's at, oh, this is at 22. This is at 23. So I can attack and win. Uh, let's summon Turbo Synchron, right? And we're gonna synchro summon with that. Excellent. This. Oh no. I want. No, I don't want that one. I want. Oh. Uh, Okay, fine. We'll do it. Huh. I'm, I was thinking I could just get rid of everything else, but nope. Okay. Oh, well, this is good then, because it will have the attack of that other guy. And then... Activate it only when your opponent declares a second direct attack during the same battle phase. Okay, I'll just put that, that face down. And I'll summon... Oh, wait, never mind. I can't summon. Alright, so that's... can't attack for some reason with that, so that's 800, that's actually 1100. Uh, yeah, I should be able to win this turn, so let's just do it. Its attack is, okay, there we go. Okay, never mind, I'm not going to be able to win this turn. I thought I could. Okay, but next turn I'm probably going to win. Alright, and turn there. So yeah, that did not go as well as I hoped. But that's okay, he's got a face down monster now. Okay, what do I get? I get the turret warrior, you can special summon this by 
contributing. All right, let's yeah, we'll special summon this by getting rid of this and put him in attack mode. And since that was a special summon, I can special I can just regular summon healing wave generator. And then I can just activate the effect. I'll do this one. I get 500 life points. Woo. I don't really need them, but whatever. So first off, Oh yeah, this got really powerful because of that card's effect. Nice. So yeah, attack this. Oh, that was just barely enough. Whew. Oh, broken bro blocker. And another one. And uh, another one. And, uh, okay, this is going to be uh, interesting. So we got two of these things. And, uh, okay, we'll just end turn there. This is not going good. So we're going to have to find a way to deal with all this. And I think I could just, yeah, I can just attack and win. So that's good. So attack, attack. Although I probably should have just attacked with the other one. Let's just do that. And there we go. Excellent. So Yusei was able to successfully escape Trudge and the other se sector security forces, but not without a cost. During the escape, Yusei crashed his dual runner in an alley, leaving him unconscious. So yeah, that's kind of like one thing is that like with all the dual runners and stuff, you know, what happens if you crash? What happens if it was like official duel and you crashed, you know? I don't think anyone ever really crashed in an official like tournament duel or anything in the show. But yeah, I mean, that's just one thing that like you don't really think about until they like, I don't know, like show it to you. So... Luckily, he was rescued from arrest by the twins, Leo and Luna. So yeah, these are some new characters. They're dropping a lot of new characters, but then again, it's pretty early on anyway. So yeah, we'll figure out what is going on next time in Welcome to the Fortune Cup. So yeah, I will see you guys then.